Good morning everyone. Today is November 5th, 2024. Time is 8.52 a.m. Eastern. Important day for us here in the U.S. If you have not voted already, please go out and vote. I have already voted uh, and, it's, and it's really important you vote. So uh, looking at the calendar, again, important day today, tomorrow, this whole week, we can ex expect a lot of volatility in the markets. I, I won't be trading most likely, but I don't know. I say it every time and I do find you know a trade comes to me and I take the trade on. But the fill of the orders are going to be drastic you know you expect it to get filled here but you can we might get a fill here uh, in a many points away so that's really why I don't like trading uh, when the volatility is high and so should you not okay uh, put the last and settle in settle is here overnight inventory is 100% long we when the markets open at 9 30 we check to see if there's an overnight inventory balance meaning um, if it's long do we get some sell-off if it's short do we get some buying for those of you who are new, watch my Market Profile 101 uh, series. I put a link here and at the bottom as well. Yesterday, I took uh, two trades and it, uh, both were fortunately profitable and I talk about that. So what happened is in the overnight session, this was yesterday's overnight session, we had this POC, which kind of not prominent, but it stuck out to me. And the market opened here. It went above, but then it started selling off. Good tempo picked up. And then what happened is look below the overnight session. It looked, it peeped out and it came back in. So if the market is kind of weak, you should see continuation lower, but that did not happen. However, the value was lower. So this is what makes uh, trading so, so complicated and even teaching it is so complicated. So once it came back into the overnight session, that means, hey, this area is rejected. The auction to the downside has ended, so to speak, in that period, right? So for better understanding, let me split this up. So it looked below, see the volume taper right here. See how the volume tapers down. It came back in. And then once it came back, it was bouncing around here near the open. Replay this session. If you replay, you'll see what I'm talking about. And then I said, okay, this the odds are getting high that the open gets taken out and then we see continuation higher. But this was just one data point. What was my second data point? Was this POC? What was my third data point? It was the session from the previous session, which I spoke about in my video last video. Is this poor high, poor high, weak high, and poor high. So there's a lot of weakness on top. So what I was thinking is, if it came back into the overnight session, we are bouncing around really the open that means the market is not as weak from the open. So we could see some buying coming in. And then, of course, we saw this move here in the B period. So it was a nice move. I, I, this is where I took my trades. So here's a good idea of putting on a good trade is trade location, which I've discussed in my Market Profile 101 uh, playlist. What is a good trade location is you enter where you know if you're wrong, you know where to get out. So I said, okay, this is the open. If I, if I put in a trade here, if I go along, I know... If it comes back below the open over this area, somewhere lower, I'll get out. It's just feeling tempo. It's just feeling, you know, the markets. I cannot teach this. You have to have screen time to understand that. So I went long. I took some trades and I left a runner going, which eventually got stopped out. But it was a good day. So that's because it also took out this POC. This prom uh, not so prominent, but it is. It sticks out, okay? Because see, it's so close. But I looked at it as a prominent POC. Uh, and it took it out and then it came back in. Then we saw one time framing lower in D, came back below the open, and so then we saw continuation lower. Okay. Uh, what's also interesting is I drew this, uh, st excuse me, oh, well, I don't know why that opened. I drew this uh, balance area here. This is a low from the second. Look where this low came yesterday, exactly to that level. So it's what it's telling me is this is just short term traders. We all know that no big traders are trading right now with the volatility, with the elections. They won't be trading this market. Even today, you might not have great volume. It's just, you know, traders who are sitting in the pajamas trading for all you know. So like you and me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what it is. So be cautious. This is very visual level. Now, what's going to happen is election results are going to be out tomorrow, day after. We'll know what exactly has happened. And then we could expect a lot of volatility. It, we, this balance zone is to be considered. Watch out for the breakout of balance to the upside or the downside. And a breakout failure for that, for that matter. Upside, downside, breakout failure. It might just go down, come back in. If it does come back in, the odds are high that it goes to the opposite end of this balance. 
Again, these are all basic 101, so watch Market Profile 101 playlist. All right, guys, um, there's not really much to discuss today. I won't be trading most likely uh, in the overnight session. We do have a prominent POC, so keep an eye on that. Market's trading here right now. We still have about half an hour, 33 minutes to go. So keep an open mind. If you do take trades, keep it, keep it short because we might expect a lot of chop in the opening hours. I don't know. Anything can happen in the markets. Uh, you know, we are not in the business of prediction. We are in the business of odds. Just remember that, okay? All right, guys, trade safe. Let, let me know if you have any questions and go vote. Thank you. Bye-bye.